Thick layers of 70 centimeters of snow shrouded southern Norway, specifically in Arendal in just one day. According to the weather forecast, there would be an additional 40 centimeters of snowfall. Due to heavy snow, local authorities shut down schools and kindergartens for safety. The large volume of snowfall paralyzed mail delivery and interrupted garbage collection services. Residents were recommended to instead work remotely because of the hazardous weather conditions. The severity of the situation along the coast exceeded those in the mountains. Fortunately, roads managed to remain operational. But motorists need to bear prolonged queues to join escorted convoys. Moreover, a new cold front is coming and will bring dipping temperatures that could linger into the following week. It will affect Oslo residents and other areas. With Norway dealing with a continuous deluge of snow, authorities urge non-stop caution. They advised residents to stay home and make preparations for more worrisome weather conditions to come. Denmark, Poland, and Sweden are also experiencing the same fate as Norway. Skane in southern Sweden and northern Jutland in Denmark could experience possible local flooding because of the extreme freezing temperatures. The gravity of the weather has hampered ferry operations between Sweden and Poland. The snowy situation left thousands of Norwegians stranded in snowdrifts as they shovel their way out of the thick snow. A major effort to free those still trapped in need of help to shovel snow and get out of their homes after several days of heavy snowfall in southern Norway. Currently we have 15 crews and 9 cars from 7 local associations in Arendal to assist the Arendal Red Cross Aid Corps in freeing trapped people and assisting home care to reach patients, wrote Red Cross Aid Corps Telemark on Twitter. Red Cross Telemark Operations Manager Stian Mikkelsen described the job as demanding. It is very comprehensive and demanding. This requires a lot of resources, both to help with digging and to transport nurses to patients' homes, he told NTB. Mickelson said there is still a lot of work to be done. But they are starting to see the end of it all. After a week marked by snowstorms and utter chaos, southern residents could see bare asphalt and light at the end of the tunnel on Thursday. Volunteers from the Red Cross and Telemark traveled to Arendal on Thursday to help with snow removal and help elderly people affected by the snow. The snow chaos in southern Norway resulted in very challenging driving conditions. Motorists have been asked to leave their cars and stay away from E18. Now the main road looks much better, said Department Director Tor Jan Hansen at the Norwegian Public Roads Agency. The wind will soon subside and the roads look better, Hansen told NTB. Wednesday's request to stay away from E18 was decided in an emergency meeting with police. Even though his request was lost, he appealed to people to think twice before getting into the car. On Thursday morning, traffic operator Ole Martin Jeltsen could see asphalt in video images of the road network. On the main road network, it now looks much better. In general the condition is good and decent. But problems can occur on smaller roads, Jeltsen told NTB. We ask people to drive according to conditions and keep their distance. Roads are still slippery, and some unexpected snow with wind is expected, Jeltsen said. People should also be prepared that you could get stuck if you travel by car. However, bare roads may indicate that the worst is over. Among other things, shops in several places are starting to be empty because supplies are not arriving. It seems to be easier now. Sheldson said. Winds are expected to increase to a heavy storm on the coast of Agder and decrease throughout the day, but remain mildly stormy in the evening. When the thermometer showed minus, light snow flew and piled up everywhere. This, among other things, causes problems on roads and footpaths. All trains between Oslo and Kristiansand are still cancelled, as are some departures to Stavanger. Arendel's been enclosed. Home care is assisted to reach users who need it most. Schools are also closed on Thursdays. After school and kindergarten care is available for socially critical personnel, the Christensen Municipal Government wrote on Wednesday. They ask the public not to call emergency numbers unless it is a true emergency. They also remind us that in many places it is difficult for drivers and plow trucks to see both adults and children.
Okay. Snow piles can be very tempting. We recommend that you do not play or hide near the edges of plows and snow piles that have been installed by plow crews. When the first snow fell in eastern Norway at the end of October, there was traffic chaos in several places. This chaos not only caught the attention of Norwegian citizens but was also widely discussed in foreign media. While most of Scandinavia experienced severe cold weather this week, several cities in the south have worked hard to remove the large amounts of snow that fell in a short period of time. Snow piling up along the walls of houses and cars having to be shoveled may be tiring for those involved, but for people abroad it generates great fascination. On Thursday morning, a snowy mess in Norway graced media giant BBC's most read list. In a case containing images from Sweden, Denmark, Finland and Norway, the whole world gets an idea of what winter in Scandinavia has to offer. The Japan Times also reported on the snow chaos. In an article mentioning extreme cold weather elsewhere in Scandinavia, they wrote that people struggled through a snowstorm in Kristiansand on Wednesday. The Euronews website, which contains news from European countries, also mentioned snowy weather. First, Eastern Norway experienced snow chaos. Now it is southern Norway that is affected. Several cities announced this week that they were closing schools due to the severe weather. Buses were cancelled on Thursday, and even IKEA decided on Wednesday that they had to close. A recommendation has been issued that those who are able, should work from home when conditions are at their worst. Over the past few days, some residents of the southern region experienced snowfall and had to shovel their way out of the entrance area. Sorlandet Hospital announced on Wednesday that employees who are unable to work will have to use vacation days. We follow the principles we have during the pandemic, namely not giving the right to paid leave, but can take advantage of rest time. But if an employee arrives two hours late because of a bus delay, that person's salary will not be deducted, said Communications Director Signe Svensson at SSHF. On December 30th, Oslo forecast an extreme freezing temperature that went between 20 degrees and minus 25 degrees. This kind of weather means that Oslo would be the coldest capital it has been in 44 years. The last time it was this cold in Oslo in January was January 1, 1979. Then minus 24.4 degrees was measured at Blindern, said Ellen Lundstad, a climate researcher at the Meteorological Institute. In 1942, Norway's capital recorded the coldest weather at minus 26 degrees. The last time the temperatures dropped in the capital was below minus 20 degrees in 2010. The frigidness that Oslo is experiencing right now is due to the high pressure from the east. It also includes icy air masses from Siberia that blanket Norway and Scandinavia. An air mass is a huge volume of air with similar temperatures and moisture elements throughout. It envelopes several hundred and even thousands of square miles, adopting the complexities of the surface below them. When the air mass starts to move away from its source region, concealed vegetation and water bodies can rapidly alter its character. It's classified based on its region of origin such as Arctic, A, Antarctic, A, Polar, P, Tropical, T, or Equatorial, E. Likewise, it's categorized by the course followed by the air mass, such as continental, C, or maritime, M. Air masses initially hit Norway on Tuesday, January 2nd, where temperatures dropped to minus 35.5 degrees in the country's far north. As the week forges ahead, the condition could plunge to minus 40 degrees. The valley zones of the region's eastern part could experience intense cold weather of minus 30 degrees in some areas. On the other hand, the rest of the east and large parts of Trondelag County would have a forecast of between minus 30 degrees to minus 20 degrees. Norway's western and southern coastal areas are anticipated to evade the most unpleasant low temperatures with a forecast of minus 5 degrees.